At the start of CHL game day five, all three German teams were in great shape to advance to the knockout stage. Augsburg, in their first ever CHL group, needed two points against Liberets to do their bit and qualify. But the semifinalist from two years ago would be a tough nut to crack. Augsburg in the red jerseys, giving the puck away early on. The snapshot taken by Radon Lentz. But Olivier Waugh able to make the blocker save and keep the game scoreless. Right at the end of the first period, a big blast from the point. Adam Pyrrell getting credit for the goal. Pyrrell's second of this CHL season. He had scored an empty netter against Belfast on game day four. Here coming up with a big tip. First shot by Scott Valentine. Pyrrell getting the credit for the goal. 1-0 at the end of one period of action. Into the second, Augsburg trying to double their money as down to the ice went Daniel Schmerlz. Eventually puck centered in front. And Marek Schwarz making his first CHL start of the season. Very big save on the doorstep from Yaroslav Hafenrichter. And right at the end of the second period, Liberets would take advantage. The wide open goal scored by Lentz. Tomasz Filippi setting up Lentz on a platter. Great work by Filippi. Easily converted Lentz's second of the CHL season. He had scored against Belfast himself on game day three. So into the third period, one goal apiece. And Liberets. Great passing. First save made by Olivier Waugh, but the second shot into the net by Adam Musil. So Liberates their first lead of the contest. 3-14 into the third. Primary helper to Marek Zacher. Musil giving Liberates the lead, but Augsburg still knocking on the door late on. Good centering pass into the slot and one-timer perfection from Thomas Holtzmann. His first CHL goal of the season. Set up brilliantly by Sahir Gill, and that sent us to overtime and eventually penalty shots. Second up, Rostislav Marosh with a great effort past Waugh, making it 1 0, and then what proved to be the clincher, Michael Boulier. 2 0 in the shootout for Liberets. They move up to six points. Augsburg on nine, but Liberets can advance with a three point win on game day six against the Panthers on home ice.